Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at game number 4 in R20 from the Atari 2600 VCS series. This was a, an arcade release originally in 1980 by Atari, and this version was created by Atari and Rob Fulop, who uh, created Demon Attack earlier on this list for a magic, and this is Missile Command. Great, uh, great arcade game. This is a very good port. Uh, this does not have the uh, enemy aircraft or UFOs that were just bonus targets in the original. You won't really miss them in this game, I don't think. This is a very, very good uh, uh, conversion or port. Um, you do not have a plus or a crosshair this time around. You just have this little dash, but that doesn't matter either. There are uh, 34 different... Uh, gameplay variations and uh, the 17th and 34th are the easiest ones. Uh, the various variations will have your uh, your uh, missile target move fairly slow uh, at a fast pace or a very fast pace. There will also be uh, slow missiles to start sometimes you might start on later levels or later waves. Uh, in case you've never played the original, the basic strategy is you move your crosshair or target around the screen and you fire missiles at it and uh, there will be enemy missiles coming from the sky and you want to blast those missiles and uh, there will be an explosion radius from your missiles that you fire and they can take out more than one enemy missile at a time you will not get uh, larger bonus points for getting more than one missile with an explosion I think that should have happened I mean I think they should have put that in the gameplay we're just gonna cycle through all the uh, different games that you can play or variations that there are and like I said there are 34 but we'll just play do a, a round of gameplay with the first variation uh, there will later in the game be other enemies there will be cruise missiles that will be added uh, I think on the seventh wave and those cruise missiles uh, there can be smart ones and there can be dumb ones. The dumb ones will just plunge headlong into the explosion radius of your missiles. And uh, the smart ones, boy, I don't know how to take those buggers out. These are a pain in the butt. But uh, note that on the center hill at the bottom, uh, there are dashes that represent how many missiles are left and there are a total of three batches of missiles you can see the extra two dashes and now there's just one more dash at the bottom left and you have ten missiles for each batch and you also have six cities you want to protect from the enemy missiles and uh, if a missile hits one of your cities don't worry it's not game over or anything you have to lose all six cities and uh, even if you lose all six cities it might not be over if you reach 10,000 points you will be able to win a free city and if all your cities were destroyed and you get your points totaled up at the end of the stage or wave uh, with all the missiles that you have left at least if you reach 10 points or 10,000 points or if you've already passed it by that point you will get an extra city back for the next wave which is very nice uh, one other difference between the original and this port was that there were three different uh, missile silos to get your missiles fired from the far left, the far right, and the center. And in this one, 
you only have the center. I remember, uh, certainly... Wow, that, that missile just missed one of my cities. They sometimes will will just miss a target, and there is the first sign of the, uh, uh, what were they called? The, uh, cruise missiles, and that was a dumb cruise missile. Like I said, you, you may encounter a smart cruise missiles later in the game, or on a certain game variation, but you see that there's a little white head to those enemy missiles, and you need to destroy that. Not the rest of it, just the head. And if you time it right, you can take out more than one at a time with uh, the explosion radius. But note that the missiles are getting faster and faster. You will have less time to strategize. And if you let a missile hit that... Uh, that uh, central uh, uh, missile bank, you know, where you see the little dashes for the missiles, then uh, you will lose that batch of missiles, and then uh, you will have to rely on the other two uh, missile batches that you see. Uh, I know there's just one at the bottom left. And as I said, you will get an extra city at 10,000 points if you need it. If you do not need it, then the game will reward you with an extra one after you lose a city and after you complete that wave, or after that wave ends. Then you will get a uh, city back. Well, now I'm starting to lose cities, so I will need that extra city. You will not get... Or, yeah, I got uh, I got them replenished because I'd had uh, multiple extra lives or extra cities built up. It takes a second to kind of, or a little while to kind of understand the uh, extra city uh, 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 how how that works in this game. Yeah, I'm dealing with just dumb, uh, uh, dumb, uh, um, what were they called? Cruise missiles. We'll look at what the smart cruise missiles do, uh, later on in this, uh, video. Yeah, I re definitely remember playing the original arcade game. Uh, I think I might have first seen it at a pizza place that was not that far from my house. I was never very good at Missile Command. I, I have gotten better at it in recent years. Yeah, there went that city. But don't forget that uh, the less cities you have, the less you have to worry or the less you have to worry about. If you only have one city, you don't have to worry about any other cities. I mean, you can let missiles just plunge into the, the rubble of the cities that are destroyed and not have to worry about anything. They're just points at that, at that uh, juncture. Just worry about protecting the cities that you have left and uh, that uh, central missile uh, batch because again when it gets hit by a missile you will uh, you will have to rely on the next batch of missiles and you can run out of missiles for sure <laughs> either by uh, being really really clumsy with uh, shooting off missiles for no reason at all or uh, having the uh, enemy missiles take out your missile batches. Once you lose all cities and you haven't gained enough points to get an extra city, uh, then your game will end. I mean, once that, once all the enemy missiles have uh, dropped down. Some of 
the uh, color uh, color schemes are uh, really ugly at this point. <laughs> that yellow, yellow mustard yellow is ugh. but uh, this is otherwise a very good port. Uh, I like uh, I like the sound effects. Uh, you know when when they change the graphics on a on a home port of something but it still looks decent and they change the sound effects and the sound effects are are nice then I don't really care that much as long as the basic gameplay is retained now some I didn't mention is that uh, the uh, point total for each uh, for each enemy destroyed is uh, doubled after you complete two stages and after you complete uh, two more stages then it triples the scoring and then after you beat those two stages <laughs> then you uh, then it's quadruple scoring and you keep going by two stages and then from uh, stage wage wage wave 11 and up it is six times the scoring, and it'll stay that way after that. Oh, I've run out of missiles to fire, so my game's gonna end because I don't have. Uh, uh, I haven't earned an extra city. I love the sound effects in this game; they're great, and I love the sound effect of getting an extra city. <laughs> Whatever it is, <laughs> we will. Uh, look at some of the game variations like I said uh, you can get a faster moving uh, target to fire your missiles at uh, you can get dumb cruise missiles or you can get smart cruise missiles you can get a much faster target that moves around um, the first uh, 17 games that you can choose are um, are for one player, and the uh, 18 through 34 are for two player alternating, uh, two players alternating turns. I'm just showing you a little little glimpse at some of the different variations. Like I said, you might have a very fast target, you might have a very slow target. Here is ah, uh, here's a smart cruise missile. I don't know how to waste that MF. I think you might need to uh, fire a volley shots above and below him. But uh, yeah, the the basic same uh, same type of uh, uh, gameplay goes in like uh, cycles of four and then after the fourth one then you have like a a slower or a much faster target perhaps and then uh, or no uh, uh, you start on a different wave is what it is it's like for the first four you'll always start on wave one and then the next four you'll start on wave seven and then the next four after that you start on wave eleven and then the next uh, four after that, you start on wave 15. Wave 13 is the hardest. You will start on wave 15. And uh, there is a secret. If you uh, fire off all your missiles and not hit anything and let all your cities be destroyed, the uh, programmer, Rob Fulop, put his initials uh, one of the cities the far right city will show RF and we'll look at that trick later on look how slow your target is there but that's the easiest uh, the easiest game is the 17th and 34th you're very slow but look how slow the missiles are to start the enemy missiles 
and there will be uh, dumb uh, cruise missiles. I played a little bit of this, the Atari 2600 Missile Command back in the day. Um, I I liked it. I liked uh, the original Missile Command. And, uh, yeah, 18 through uh, 34 is two-player alternating play. So when you, uh, when one player finishes a wave, then play switches to the other player. Or when a player, uh, loses all their cities and it's game over for them, then it goes to the other player. But yeah, I think this is a very good port. Like I said, the original has has like a, a plane or a UFO target that flies across the screen. But that's just bonus points. It's like it's a uh, it's not that uh, big a deal to have it omitted. Yeah, here is me doing the uh, the trick on. You have to use you have to play uh, wave 13 or a. a setting 13, game variation 13, waste all your missiles, and don't get any points. Don't hit any targets. And there's his RF at the far right city. Rob Fulop. Uh, if you select, uh, difficulty A on the difficulty switches, then uh, your missiles are fired much slower. And, uh... We'll have a look at that. Yeah, see, it's quite a bit slower. If you, uh, use frying on this game it doesn't really it doesn't really do anything special yeah see just just weird graphical glitches huh? <laughs> strange yeah well that was uh, missile command uh, game number four in R20 from the Atari 2600 series created by Atari and Rob Fulop in 1981 this is crazy climb race and thanks for watching I will catch you later in the future with game number three. Y'all have a good one, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.